July 1, 1992, AVTA launched their first bus down busy Lancaster and Palmdale streets. In their first year, AVTA provided over 900,000 rides to their community. Their singular company-wide vision since conception was to have a fleet of buses completely powered by electricity, an unheard of undertaking even now. Martin Tompkins, I'm the Executive Director CEO at the Antelope Valley Transit Authority, AVTA, and we are in Northern LA County in Lancaster, California. Our board members had a vision and we, the AVTA staff, carried out that vision. Here we are today, 18 years ahead of uh, schedule. Today we have 57 fully electric local transit vehicles in service. We went into service in 2020. In 2021, we started receiving delivery of our MCI commuter buses, and those went fully electric in March of 2022. A vision this massive in scope could not possibly be accomplished alone. The team at AVTA knew that they needed help funding this goal. HVIP was instrumental in providing us uh, a lot of funding toward our fleet transition. About $11.1 million so far, and we still have some additional vouchers that are out there for buses that are pending delivery. It allowed us to accelerate the replacement of the fleet. Longtime bus riders and operators agree that ABTA has the right idea. Yeah, I've actually been riding the bus for around for a little over 10 years now. The electric bus is there. It's a nice upgrade, you know, it's a nice upgrade. I like the difference, you know, it's a lot quieter. Yeah. Um, definitely, it is a difference because like I said, we're not breathing in the toxins from the engine. You know, with the diesel bus, sometimes the engine smoke, you know, it's black smoke coming out. But with the electric bus, we don't have that. So yes, definitely, I believe it's healthier bus drivers and the passengers as well. On top of the health benefits, the cost savings that come with switching to electric vehicles are tremendous. Being the first all-electric transit fleet is not the only thing they have accomplished. In 2007, AVTA won an AdWheel Award for their innovative and appealing local transit map design. In 2011, they won their fourth consecutive AdWheel Award. These designs and their initiatives for cleaner, environmentally friendly transit impact the community they serve in many ways. This has been a great uh, electrification journey for AVTA. Uh, it's been positive for us and our community. Um, our goal is to continue electrifying our project, our services here in the Antelope Valley. The commuter buses have a range of about 170 miles. Today we have 12 wireless wave inducting pads throughout the service area. A bus can pull into a transit center, pull into a over pad, and sit there for 10 minutes at a layover and get opportunity charging. And after those 10 minutes, the bus gets an additional 12 miles of, of range. Since 2019, when we started receiving the majority of our vehicles, our local transit fleet went fully electric in 2020. From 2020 through the close of 2022, we've averted 2.5 million gallons of fuel, uh, which generated over $3 million in savings. With funding secured through HVIP and other incentive programs, and the savings from maintenance costs from electric vehicles themselves, AVTA has their eyes set on a brighter future. Our journey doesn't end here. Our next steps for AVTA is uh, our board has already approved the purchase of 47 acres, which is adjacent to our current facility. We're gonna put a complete solar farm on there with battery storage. Uh, we're gonna be completely off the grid. So that, that is the next big step for AVTA.